Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power n minus n, same thing as a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n. That is, you can write this as 9 raised to the power x over 9 squared equals to 72 on this side. Then also this same thing as 9 raised to the power x over 9 squared, 9 times 9, that's 81. Equals to, we can write this as 72 over 1. Then yeah, we cross multiply 9 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 9 raised to the power x equals to 72 times 81 here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 72 times 81 here. That is, here we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m, is to power p. This same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 9 equals to log 72 times 81 from here. At this here, we divide both side by log 9. At this, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. Here we have log 9 cancelled each other. And x equals to log 72 times 81 over log 9. Then, from here, this follows when we have log a times b. You can express this as log a plus log b. That is what we have here follow this, and we have x equals to log 72 plus log 81 over log 9. Then we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log. 72 over log 9 plus log 81 over log 9. Then here we can write 81 as 9 times 9, that's 9 squared. That is, this we have x equals to log 72 over log 9 plus log 81 which is now written as 9 square over log 9. Then here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here. We have x equals to log 72 over log 9 plus 2 log 9 over log 9. At this here, log 9 cancelled each other. And this becomes x equals to log 72 over log 9 plus 2. The next step here, we can also rewrite 72 as 8 times 9. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 times 9 over log 9. Plus 2. Then here, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 8 plus log 9 over log 9 plus 2. Then separate this into two fractions. Also, we have x equals to log 8 over log 9 plus log 9 over log 9 plus 2. That is, here also we have log 9 cancel each other on one left here, which implies x equals to log 8 over log 9 plus 1 plus 2 here, that's 3. Then, next step here, we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 cubed. And also 9 
as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, which implies here we have x equals to log 2 cube over log 3 squared plus 3. Then we apply the power law of log here. 3 comes here and 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 3 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus 3, which also can be written as x equals to 3 over 2 times log 2 over log 3 plus 3. Then we apply change of base a when we have log a over log b. This is same thing as log a to base b. As this we have x equals to 3 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 3. We can also bring this together as one fraction. We have x equals to base 3 over 1. The SCM here has 2. And here we have 3 log 2 base 3 then plus 6 here now that is the value of x here we have x equals to 3 log 2 base 3 plus 6 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfy this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 log 2 is 3 plus 6 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 3 log 2 is 3 plus 6 all over 2 then minus 2 is it equals to 72 on this side. Here we bring this power together as 1, this 2 over 1. We have 9 raised to power. Let's see them here. That's 2. And this becomes 3. Log 2 is 3. Plus 6, then minus. Oh, yeah. This is equals to 72 on this side. That is here we have 9 raised to power 6 minus 4. That's 2. I see this is 2 plus log 3 log. 2 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 72 on this side then also 9 here can be written as 3 square which is raised to power 2 plus 3 log 2 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 72 on this side then this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other. We have 3 raised to power 2 plus 3 log 2 base 3. Is this equals to 72 from here? Then we, this follows when we have a raised to power n plus n. This same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. At this here we have 3 square times 3 raised to power 3 log 2 base 3. Is it equals to 72 on this side? Then 3 square here is 9. Then times we reverse this 3 whole. We have 3 raised to power log 2 raised to power 3, which is 8 base 3. Is it equals to 72 on this side? And this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Then here we have 9 times 8. Is it equals to 72? On this side, of course, 9 times 8 gives us 72, which is equal to 72 here. At this left hand side, equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 3 log 2 raised 3 plus 6 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.